living things are highly organized and structured. Following a hierarchy, it exhibits a unique and complex organization. This is arranged in ascending order or from lowest to highest level. One concrete example of a living thing is you. You are composed of many parts and each part has a specific function. Every part is interrelated and is necessary for your continuous existence on this planet. It is guided by the rule, all for one, one for all, because these parts of your body will not work alone, instead it works as a whole. One part will not be able to work properly if other part is missing. This video will help you understand the following thing. First is to describe the different levels of biological organization. And second, you will arrange the levels of biological organization in order from lowest to highest level. Now let's begin. The atom is the smallest and most fundamental unit of matter. When we say matter, it is anything that has mass and takes up space. Elements such as carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen are composed of atoms. Atoms represent the smallest and most specific unit of this hierarchical structure. Atoms banded together to make molecules. Molecules can be arranged into large molecular structure such as chromosomes, proteins, and lipids. Some of these large biological molecules may be grouped together to become organelles. Example of organelles including the nucleus, mitochondria, ribosomes, and chloroplasts. This tiny structure called organelles are the parts of our cell. Cells are responsible for everything from housing the cell's DNA to producing energy. Cell is the basic structural unit of life, meaning all living organisms are composed of cells. Cells has two types. It can be a plant cell or animal cell. When we say a plant cell, are those cells that can be found in plants, while animal cells are the cells in human body and other form of animals. When these cells with shared structure and function group together, they form tissues. Animal tissue can be grouped into four subunits. First, the epithelial tissue. Second, connective tissues. Third, muscle tissue. And fourth, the nervous tissue. Tissues are grouped together to form organs to perform specific tasks in our body. It is also an independent part of the body of an organism that carries out specific functions. For example of it are the heart, lungs, kidney. When these organs within an organism group together to keep our body work in a systematic way, they called it as organ system. Some examples are the circulatory system, digestive system, nervous system, skeletal, and reproductive system. When this organ system works together, an organism is formed. Organism is a single individual of a species that exhibits the basic characteristic of life. Living organisms are highly ordered and have the ability to grow, develop, and reproduce. Complex organisms, including human, rely on the cooperation between organ systems to exist. Populations are group of organisms of the same species living in a particular geographic area at the same time with the capability of interbreeding, like school of fish, human, and pack of wolves. Population may increase in size or shrink depending on a number of environmental factors. Community consists of different population 
or a group of organism of the same species in a given geographic area. From people and plants to bacteria and fungi, communities include the living organism in an environment. Next is ecosystem. It involves interaction between living organism and their environment. This includes both living and non-living material in an environment. An ecosystem contains many different types of communities. The next is the biome. Biome encompasses all of the Earth's ecosystem. They can be divided into regions of similar climate, plant life, and animal life. Biomes, cons biomes consist of both land biomes and aquatic biomes. Or simply, it is a large, naturally occurring community of flora and fauna occupying a major habitat like for example, forest or tundra. Then lastly is the biosphere. It includes all of the Earth's biomes and all living organisms within. This includes area of the Earth's surface, below the Earth's surface, and in the atmosphere. Now we are going to arrange the levels of biological organization of an organism from lowest to highest level. Let's begin with the atom. Atom is the most fundamental unit of matter. So when we say matter, it is anything that has mass and occupies space. So when these atoms are combined together, they form what we call as the molecules. Molecules is composed of atoms and the smallest unit of compound. Molecules can be arranged into large molecular structures or groups and we call them as the organelles. Organelles are a combination of large biological molecules like DNA, mitochondria, the chloroplast, and any bio biological group within the cell. So when these organelles combine together, they form what we call as the cells. Cell is the basic functional unit of life. Example of it are the following. The muscle cell, fat cell, bone cell, nervous cell, epithelial cell, immune cell, and the sex cells. When the cells combine together, they form tissues. Tissues are a group of cells performing similar function like muscle tissue, bone tissue, and many more. So when these tissues combine together, they form organs. Organs are a group of tissues performing similar function like our brain, our kidney, our stomach, our heart, and etc. When these organs group together, they form what we call as the organ system. Organ system is a group of organs performing similar function, like for example, the immune system, the cardiovascular system, respiratory system, and many more. So when this organ system group together, they form what we call as organism. An organism is an individual living thing that is made up of one or more organ system. Like us, human beings, we are an example of organism, like also the plants and other form of animals.
when these organisms group together, they form what we call as the population. Population is a group of organisms of one type that live in the same geographical area like humans, like a group of zebra, a school of fish, and a pack of wolves. When this population group together, we form a community. So community is a population that live together in a defined area, like this one in the pictures. So they are a group of population living in specific area. Like these zebras together with the tamaraus and fish together with the corals and sponges. Now, when this community group together, they form an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a community and its non-living surroundings, like this one in the picture. Then, when this ecosystem group together, they form what we call as the biome. So, biome is a large occurring community of flora or plants and fauna or animals occupying a major habitat. Like, for example, a forest or a tundra. When this biome combine all together, we have the biosphere. Biosphere is the part of the earth that contains all ecosystem. So in short, it is the part of the earth, the earth itself. 